As the number of cases surge in South Florida, there's good news about a vaccine on the way. But health experts are also warning not to let our guards down. CBS 4's Joe Murray continues our team coverage. The line here at Hard Rock Stadium for COVID testing, not as long as Monday, but people are still lining up ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. We also have new information on the vaccine coming to South Florida. All along, the experts have said we need to be testing our population to, to get a true understanding of how prevalent is the disease in the, in, in the community. Noon at the Hard Rock, the wait about 45 minutes, the whys as varied. I already have COVID in August and it's positive again, so I want to double check if that's true or not. Retesting, also one of the reasons drivers waited at CB Smith Park at Pembroke Pines. And we heard this. I want to see my great grandson and I want to make sure I'm okay. You have a travel tomorrow. You want, you have to travel? Yeah. Where are you traveling to? In New York. Well, I mean, it's just smart. It's just smart to just know in case so you don't spread to people. Remember, Thanksgiving, most free government-run COVID testing sites are closed, except Miami Beach Convention Center, which will have drive-up on the holiday from 9 to 1.30. Also, some private-run urgent cares will be open for testing Thanksgiving, although check to make sure they take your insurance, otherwise you'll pay out of pocket. There's going to be a percentage of the total pop positives who are going to get sick. Dr. Thomas Macaluso, chief medical officer of the Memorial Healthcare System, which is preparing to receive the first doses of the Pfizer vaccine in December, said his hospital staff and likely other South Florida healthcare workers will get the life-saving vaccine first. Some of the outbreaks, small outbreaks we've had is definitely from a community spread and somehow a patient became positive because of that. So if we can vaccinate our, our workforce, uh, that's a good thing for everybody. While some are celebrating oblivious to the pandemic, Dr. Macaluso said a deadly surge two weeks from now is not inevitable. People are generally following the rules, but when we let our guard down, that's potentially catastrophic. We've said it before, Ed, we will say it again. It takes a couple of days to get your test results back. And at this point, you may not get it in time for the Thanksgiving holiday. So keep that in mind as you are making preparations. At Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.